Well, look at this. <laughs> Yesterday, it was one county after another, after another, after another that was being added to the burn ban list. And I can't rule out more counties being added today either. And again, we've got 10 East Texas counties, 11 if you count Polk County, that are now under this burn ban. That is highlighted in the red here. That goes from Van Zandt to Trinity County, Cherokee, Angelina, Panola, Marion, Upshur County, also in that burn ban. And here's the reason why. First off, we've had a lack of rain. We'll talk more about that later. But the triple digit heat through yesterday. We've seen six triple digit days in Tyler Longview. We've seen five triple digit days and then Lufkin. We got lucky yesterday because we had a shower move through Angelina County and that cooled us off. We were at 97 well on our way to a triple digit day, but we were bailed out by the rain and that's something that I also can't rule out a little later today as well. We'll talk about future cast here in just a second, but let me give you an overview of these temps. We are in the 70s right now as we look at future cast not a lot happening this morning it's not until noon time at noon that's when I do expect some of these showers and thunderstorms to begin popping up for example this is what the radar is forecasted to look like at about the noontime hour and as you can see central some southern counties seeing a little bit of rain but these are just brief pop-ups meaning they're not going to last very long and they're not going to mount out to much you could see maybe a quick quarter of an inch of rain, but that's the best case scenario. This is four o'clock and then as we head into about seven o'clock, most of that rain tapers off and then we're just dealing with a clear night and then Friday we could have more clouds in the afternoon and more rain chances as well. 99 degrees brief evening isolated shower. That's what my uh, verbiage means there. 77 mostly clear overnight as well. Here is Thursday's weather setup. It is very hot across parts of the deep south. That is thanks to this ridge of high pressure in the upper levels. Anytime you see this though, right over our area, chances are that the American West is getting a lot of rainfall and that's exactly the case. Parts of New Mexico, even eastern Arizona, not known for how much rain it gets. They are getting a, an abundance of rain right now, which is good news for the Four Corners region because that is where we do end up seeing the fires starting to fire off for times like July and August. So that is certainly good news. Hopefully that can help alleviate things during the fire season. Today, the high temperature, the average high is about 91. It's 93 July 1st. We do peak with those average temperatures in the early part of August, and then it's all downhill from there. August 31st, we're at 93. The last day of summer, September 22nd, the average high is 87. So at least there's something to look forward to there, but not anytime soon. Temperatures will be in the middle 90s. I guess you can look forward to that, right? I mean, 90s are better than the triples. We have Friday, Saturday and Sunday, but we do kind of trade off with a little more humidity there Sunday and Monday, especially with those rain chances in the area. Very isolated chance of rain in deep east Texas for Thursday, but triples Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Mm, I'm tired of seeing those triples. Make it go away, Carson. I'm working on it. Okay, good. Uh, we are in negotiation with Mother Nature right now, but yes. you know, I have to warn you. I mean, there's a lot of uh, conflicting ideas on both sides, so mm. it could take a while. Well, I know you will always be there giving us those updates. So absolutely. Thank you for that. Yep. <laughs> Let us <laughs> Only know time when those will tell. temperatures drop. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Carson. <laughs> Not to show some appreciation to our viewers. It is time for Kate.